Hi everybody, it's Cindy with The Unique Times, and I thought today I would talk to you from my new space, and I would walk around and show you. I could. All right, so here we are. I was gonna say, when are we there, or are we there yet? So we're getting there. This is my little window. Those are my floors, which are really darker than I planned. And I had had these lighter versions, but voila, love the color. Okay, here's a clue. If you paint 20 colors and you want a beige gray, which is, you know, my grayish, get Olympic Mountains. There's my fan blade so I can feel like I'm at the beach. Olympic Mountains is really cool, I think, and it's been more FYI. All right, bathroom's coming. The window has to be closed up because that will not be here um, for inspection. And then here we go. You kind of have seen the whole drill, but I'm just giving you the update. Materials are getting ready. Okay, wait for this. Yes, this is my closet. Are you jealous? <laughs> I waited all my life for it, okay? So I'm really happy. Not that you should be jealous. I'm just uh, saying I'm so thrilled, basically. But what I wanted to talk about was, are we there yet? And one of the things I'm thinking about is every time we think we are there, these are my colors I'm playing with. So anyway, I love the palettes. I think they're really gorgeous. But... Um, why don't be there? One of the things I woke up this morning thinking I want to get this done and this done and this done and I paused. I did my meditation. I did my qigong. I did the mindfulness activity which we need to do every moment which is when you're eating, eat. When you're doing dishes, do dishes. When you're walking, walk. Those are meditations that we need to do every moment of our waking lives when we can. And what I realized today is how much I think about when I get this done, then I'll do this. And then when I'm done with that, I'll do this. And then I've got to get there and do this. And I thought, just wait, just pause. And I think this happens, it happens more to me than I realized. And it's only when we stop and we really look at what is the mind doing that we can make a change. So often, people I'm working with, whether it's a life coaching session, usually not massage, but sometimes massage, um, or a personal training session, people are so wound up wanting to get done and on to the next thing. And sometimes I have to just stop the session so people can plant their two feet on the ground and breathe. And that alone is really difficult. So I want to do that, actually, since I just unfolded my feet. Let's together, if you've been having any issues of not being able to stop the mind in its rotation, and as it does, like a hamster in a wheel, going round and round, go ahead and just plant your feet on the ground. And begin to soften your eyes. I like to keep my half mask so I can still see what's going on around me. And then I can register what's internally happening in my inside world. So as you begin to shift gears, let go of what happened a minute ago what's going to happen after we're done here, where you're going next, and just be. Begin to do a quick body scan from the top of your head to the tips of your toes, and just noticing where your breath frees you. And as you go through your body, just notice any tension, any sensations, nothing to change or fix. 
simply become a silent observer. You might notice a deepening your, of your breath as you begin to let go. As you find places where you notice there's tightness, just become aware and see if you can meld in. For me at the moment, it's right into the seat of my shield tube rod seat, which is my buttock snuffle, the bone right under my gluteal. And I'm going to even begin to soften not only the muscle, but the bone. Bone has malleability. And just let go. Deepen your breath now in through your nose for a count of four. Exhale through your throat for a count of four. Do that four more times. And add a sigh if you like. Begin feeling your body soften a little deeper. Relaxing any tension in your eyes, your jaws, your throat, your shoulders, all of your limbs, your belly. Just notice what's going on. All the way down your thighs, your hamstrings, the back of your legs, your kneecaps, your shins your calves, your ankles, your feet, and your toes. Take a deep breath, inhale through your nose. Exhale, sigh. Now just let your breath breathe you regularly. Notice between the inhale and the exhale, there's a space. We call that the gap. The gap where it's clear, where you might catch a glimmer of no thought. And just be in this present moment with nothing to do, no place to be, just here. Come to a word or your mantra or a vision. Bring that to the forefront of your brain and your unconscious brain, knowing that you were never given a thought without the opportunity to make that come into fruition. And enjoy that silence as we sit.